Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have an awesome video for you guys. So it's been a while since we've had some competitive on the channel and we actually just had an amazing tournament take place. Um, we had an top, the, literally the top 10 or the top 8, sorry, NA teams in the world competing against each other in a round robin format, which is very, very, very just just crazy like the, there's rarely ever round robins it's usually just a bracket and you know you can get a hard bracket you can get an easy bracket and you know it, it's it's always like that some teams always have advantages some teams have disadvantages and a round robin is so cool because every team has to face every team once so we had seven uh seven games one against every team a best of five format and it was honestly just a crazy crazy experience it was awesome i'm gonna show you guys the standings at the end of the video just because I'm going to be showing you guys one of the sets that we had against Turtle Gang. And, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, obviously. So I'm going to be showing it at the end of the video. But, yeah, with that being said, we're going to hop into this crazy set. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was very fun. Um, but, yeah, with that being said, we're going to hop into the first game. I'm going to introduce my team. I'm just going to introduce theirs. And, you know, let's get into it. So here we go into the first set and straight off the bat, you know, this is our second set and a little bit of a spoiler, we did win our first one, three to nothing. So we were feeling really confident about ourselves. You know, this is one of the teams that qualified last, even though they are a super, super good team. And spoiler, they actually finished second place or third place or tied for second. I don't know what it officially was. So they definitely were really good. We took them definitely way too lightly, which is definitely why I want to show you guys these games. Um, so we're going to be taken out over there. They're running a very, very strong comp. So anyways, the players on their team are going to consist of Keaton. You know, Keaton's a great player. He's played um, in competitive basically since the game was competitive. He's always been around in the scene. You know, he hasn't had too much success in winning many of the big tourneys, but he's always been around. He's always been in some of the games. So, you know, he's super, super good. Um, but yeah, they also have Eric EX, who again, since, you know, the birth of competitive, he's always been around in the scene. Um, he's won a few more things than, than Keaton has. He's definitely a very respected player within the community, but I, I think sometimes he just doesn't have time to play. I don't know exactly what the issue is, but he's definitely a really good player. And then Morton on their team, who is one of the best Costa Rican players in the world. So they're doing a really good job over here. We're going to pull Morton. Um, I basically haven't commentated over this game just because there was basically no, nothing to commentate. Really good time to introduce them. Uh, they they destroyed us. Uh, long story short, I don't. I'm not going to put it... In any other words, they outcomped us, they outplayed us, they outlaned us. You know, nobody won a lane the entirety of the game for us. They played really, really well. And, you know, we were coming into this one super, super confident. We're like, oh, we're going to win this one 100%. There's no way we're going to lose. And we just, we got destroyed. And this one was a huge eye-opener for us. We're like, well, you know, what is this? We just absolutely got destroyed. So second game, you know, we're going to bear down. Uh, we're going to focus and we're going to win. So let's hop into the second game and let's see what happens. So here we go, we're going to be going into our best mode, which is going to be Brawl Ball. Our comp is going to be a BB, Nita, and Spike. So a little bit of a counter towards the Rosa over here. They're going to be having a Shelly, so I'm going to walk up. Uh, I'm going to be able to take out Morton almost, but he's going to be able to take me out with the help of Keenan. Uh, Jack's going to be taken out over there, so really strong start by them. Second's going to use his super over on that side. Morton's going to have his super. I'm going to back him off. Uh, or stun him once but either way he's not going to be able to you know pick up the ball or i'm not gonna be able to pick up the ball he's gonna be able to get it and it's gonna be a quick one to nothing for them so it's already not looking very good um and you know morton's just sneaking up on this left on that left side he's gonna be able to take out second i'm gonna be able to take out eric but morton's gonna be able to take us out chepo's gonna be able to put that put that bear down and gonna be able to get a good save over there uh, he's gonna be walking up the left side of the map currently so I thought it was going to be over right there and then they were going to win in literally 45 seconds, which would have been super humiliating. Uh, second didn't know Keenan was in the bushes and he was focusing Morton. Uh, I'm going to push Morton back. So we have some really good playing going on. Keenan used Band-Aid. Uh, I did waste my ball. Something I have to work on with BB is my balls. <laughs> that sounded a little bit weird, but but the supers with BB, um, you know, they aren't, I'm not using them as effectively as I could. So I definitely have to work on that one. Eric is going to be able to slither away with 100 HP over there. I'm going to be taken out by one of Keenan's shots, and Morton's just going to be running straight. Uh, you know, he's he's two shot right now, but a second is going to be able to hit an RNG, which is going to lead him to being one shot. We know Keenan is somewhere in the bushes, so we can't just run in because he does have that super. Uh, second's going to be able to take out Eric, so we're going to be able to run up this right side over here. Good super also by him. We're going to give the ball to Morton just so we can fully identify where he is. We know Keenan is somewhere behind us. 
So they're going to use a super. Keaton does have Band-Aid. He was alive for a very, very long time. So he's going to be able to take us out. I'm going to use my ball on him, but, you know, it's not going to be enough. They're going to be able to just completely team wipe us. Chepo's the only one alive, but they're going to wait until Morton kills him. Uh, Chepo did have a really, really good clear, but there's only 30 seconds left in the game. We're all, like, trapped in our spawn. Uh, Chepo played amazing defense in this game. He absolutely dominated. So really big shout out to him. But, you know, it's just too much. You know, Morton's coming down. I'm going to be able, again, to hit him off the ball. But he's going to be able just to slide that one in the net. Really good shot by Morton. Chepa wasn't able to save it. And they're going to be able to take a 2 to nothing lead. So at this point, we're freaky out, you know, because this is our best game mode. Um, and it's a team that we weren't, you know, really looking at as huge competition. So this is huge for them. You know, it's 2 nothing for them. And every game counts. And it's very important that we get wins uh, just because of this formatting. So we're going to hop into the third game with a completely different mindset and we're going to be able to see if we're going to be able to get that reverse sweep or if they're going to be able to take us out and claim the first place. So here we go on to safe zone and we're going to be facing a Penny, a Brock and a Daryl. So that's a super, super crazy comp. Uh, you don't see that often. We're going to be running a mirror except a Jesse instead of a Penny. I just find Jesse to be better here. So our job basically is to keep Morton as low as possible along with Jack as well as try and, you know, clear out that mid. So Jack's doing a great job of hitting his shots. You know, we both have Morton really low. I'm just going to walk up to him, give him an auto aim. So we're going to be able to take him out. Uh, really good, you know, just shots over there by Jack is going to be getting a lot of value. I'm going to be hitting the safe a couple times. Jack's going to be one shot. So I'm going to go up and pressure Keenan a little bit just to take away the fact that he's one shot. Good shot over there by Eric. And second's going to roll in, but he's not going to go for the safe. Instead, he's going to charge back his super. You know, he's doing a good job. He did have a little bit of a lag spike over there, but they're, they're just going to leave him in the spawn. Uh, I'm just trying to take out walls over there, so we're going to be able to take out uh, the wall. We're able to take out Keenan, and, you know, Eric's obviously going to be taken out super, super easily. So we're just going to super the safe over here. We're doing really, really good damage to it. Uh, Morton's going to try and roll on us, and he is going to be able to be successful with it. We're going to be able to take out Eric with some auto-aim. I mean, with, with some actual aim. If we auto-aim, we would have hit Morton over there. And, you know, that's going to be a really quick game. It only took an hour and a bit. Uh, sorry, a minute and a bit, not an hour and a bit, but we're able to take it, uh, take him out. It's going to be two to one. You know, heist. Although it's not my favorite game mode, this this map, I love it so much. I just love the meta on this map. We're going to be able to take him out. So it's going to be two to one. Uh, we're kind of feeling confident. We have our mojo back, and let's head into the fourth game and let's see if we're able to get the win in our worst mode bounty. So here we go into uh, Temple Ruins, which I I personally think is my favorite bounty map. Um. Second best is going to go Piper. We don't really have an amazing Piper on our team. And second best stepped up and he said, I want to play Piper. So, you know, that's obviously very huge. We did get tapped once there by Eric. So we do have to retreat and try and stay alive. You have Jack on Gene. I am normally the Gene on the team, but we let Jack uh, Gene in a game earlier today. And he played amazing. So we thought, you know what, he's just going to Gene today. He's obviously feeling it. He's playing very well. So BB's going to push right beside Jack. Second, second best is going to be able to get a really good snipe onto him. And that's going to be the first kill of the game. We also were able to pick up the first star, so that's obviously very huge. Uh, Chepo's going to pull Eric, which is going to force him to jump, and that's going to be an easy kill for second best. So Morton's going to be up here in our lane. We've basically tied the route, but I've also been going for Eric. Morton's basically been singling me out, so he's right over here beside us. Um, we're doing some jukes. We're able to take out one, but Morton is going to be able to take us out over there. Uh, second best is going to run back. Second best does have our gem, so it's important that he stays alive. Not our gem, sorry, but our... Um, our stars so I got a kill over there off of one of Jack's pulls so so Morton's just chilling back here um we're just gonna walk up to him we know he's right here so just gonna give him a triple auto and we're gonna be able to get that kill Eric is gonna jump into the sky we're gonna get him one tap and um Jack was able to take him out really good play over there an insane triple tap by second best onto Keenan who's a BB so he moves faster I'm gonna be able to break Morton's side up here so it's gonna be a lot easier for me to take out Morton although we did get pinched over there by Eric and Morton so they're gonna be able to get that kill a good pull over there by Jack we weren't able to finish off Eric uh, a good ball over there by Keenan and we're just all gonna focus Keenan over here I'm gonna kind of just a bit like go up and get Eric because he's playing a little bit over aggressive and a really good snipe over there by second so 15 seconds left as long as all three of us don't die we're gonna secure the win I'm going to use my super over there, which is going to get Eric super, super low. Chepo's going to die, but, you know, second's doing a great job at tapping Morton. He's going to be able to take him out. I'm going to be able to take out Keenan, and that's going to be an amazing game, and it's going to be 2-2. Two to two. So, as I said, you know, I like to show the losses. <clears throat> I don't want to just show the games that we swept, and we have a huge, huge fifth game coming up. Um, this one's definitely the biggest game that, 
you know, the most important game that determined the standings of the entire tournament for any single team. So this is obviously a huge one. So let's hop into that fifth game and let's see exactly what happened. So here we go, we're going to be playing on the new Siege map, and we're really lucky that it was this one, not another new Siege map, just because this one was out in ladder. So we, we were able to feel it out a little bit, and we decided that double tank with a BB was probably the best comp. We were thinking about running a Gene, which is what they're running as well, but um, there's just not too much of an offensive upside with Gene, which is why we didn't run it. Um, so it's currently 2 to nothing for us, so we've guaranteed the first bot. Uh, Keenan's going to miss his pull, it's 3 to nothing currently, second best is going to cash in. Uh, like a power of a bolt i mean so it's gonna be four to nothing at this point i'm just trying to stay alive so i can be alive during the push uh it's four to nothing with the bot and then an extra two for us as we picked up two late in the round so keenan's trying to pull the bot chepo's not allowing him to do so you guys are gonna see second just roll in there um i'm just gonna go all out over here i'm gonna pop my super do as much damage to the safe as possible we did like an extra 17 percent or something which is really huge uh, so all we have to do is defend well or pick up this next uh, bot or tide or do anything basically. Except for just get pushed in one by 100%. So you guys are going to see a really aggressive play uh, by second. He's going up trying to get a super. Chepo has a super over there. Um, at this point, you know, we have a triple tank. So we have really good ability to just walk in and try and take out the uh, the safe. So second's going to be able to pick up that kill. It's 5-3 to three right now for them. So they're going to be able to have a bot. I'm one shot from super. I'm just chilling over here. I'm able to pick up my super. So me and second are going to go in over there. Uh, Chepo is also going to go in. And although we literally did 0%, they weren't able to help their push at all since all three of them had to defend. So although, you know, they did a few, they did a little bit of damage. That's perfectly fine. We want them to do a little bit of damage. Um, it's better than them having a full forced attack coming out at us. So we have a six bolt advantage at this point because we had that really smart play. Even though it didn't end up doing anything. I'm able to take out Keenan over there. I'm gonna pop my super just so I can ensure myself getting that bolt. Just because it was a very important one. All we need is one or two more bolts in order, in order to win the game. Chepo's gonna be able to pick up that one. And that is going to seal the deal. We're gonna be able to get the bot. And we're in the lead by like 60%. 60 something. I think 64. So that's just gonna guarantee us that win. Second with a little bit of BM by like kind of dying on purpose after getting pulled by Keenan. Oh, we're just fooling around over here. But anyways, that's going to be the win. So that was a super, super intense series. Um, we were able to pick it up in five games. I'm going to put the standings now on the screen for you guys. Um, as you guys can see now, we did end up actually going 7-0, and oh, which is super good. We only lost four games the entire time. So what I mean by games, I mean just singular games inside the best of, inside the best of five. So we actually dropped half of our games against this team, Turtle Gang. Uh, we, we swept both Tribe Main and Tribe... Uh, Invictus, we were able to sweep one of Nova's teams and we only lost one against the other Nova team. And then we dropped the game against Omen, we beat them 3-1 and we swept Ace-1. So we had a really, really dominant performance. We absolutely, literally dominated everyone, so it, it was huge. Uh, we have a big advantage into the next round, so the next round, the, the, the two last teams from this, uh, from this round, so Ace-1 and Nova Esports White were eliminated. The bottom two teams from the last, from the next round of the round of six are going to be eliminated. And the top two teams, so my team, Omen Elite, and Turtle Game, Turtle Gang picks up points. So we got two points, Turtle Gang got one, and that's going to carry over to the next round, which is a huge advantage. But anyways, that's going to wrap up this week's. I hope you guys enjoyed the competitive games. Um, this is a really dope tournament. I'm going to have more gameplay for this tournament on Saturday and Sunday. So I hope you guys are really prepared for that. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to have more of the competitive gameplay on the channel. There hasn't been too much competitiveness, uh, or at least higher tier. There's been a few smaller ones, but I don't want to show you guys just us sweeping people in the finals, which isn't really competition. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's a pleasure always doing these videos, and you know, we'll get a good one soon. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.